Every day you wake up, this is my healthiest day alive. My hands started getting weak, but my body was still good. Wrenches were dropping, I wasn't able to turn keys, and I just got my ticket. I can't work. I'm never going to be able to twist a wrench again. Three, two, one! <laughs> I'm not going to discredit Ice Bucket Challenge because it brought the term ALS to the forefront. But I heard of the challenge. I didn't know what the disease was at all. Even when the guy looked at me from across the room and saying, you have this, and I'm like, okay, like, what am I looking at? And I did the old WebMD, and <laughs> she wasn't looking too pretty, you know what I mean? It's the degradation of uh, nerve pathways in your body. Nerve pathways control everything, the way you move. You see how they're all crooked now, and I've lost, you get muscle degradation. My body twitches all the time. It also attacks the emotional side. There's bipolar, I feel like I'm tripolar. I'm up, I'm down, and then times, you know, inside, you're like, I'm not feeling down or up, and stuff will, almost like Tourette syndrome, come out of your mouth. And it's one of those things like anchor, the anchor man. I don't know what I'm yelling about. You know, like it's just fucking coming out. Want a good boat? It's been about not even a year, eight or nine months, which is pretty scary. The worst case scenario is my body progresses until the point of not being able to speak or move. The scariest thing about ALS to me is the loss of function to your to breathing. You get to a certain point, you had ALS for a while, and it's like, yeah, okay, I'm okay with where I'm at right now. But then in a blink of an eye, you're even that much worse. Like, before you even know it, that music video we did in May, I seen myself walking around with a cane. Like, I could realistically walk three or four blocks down the road and back. It would be a lot of work, but I could have did that. And now, it's an impossibility in my life. I'm lucky to have good benefits with a good company. It ain't enough to fight this disease. It's enough for me to curl up and die, which I, I'm not ready to do right now. I have the potential to be a member of a study at Cedar sinai Cedar sinai is hosting a study called Brainstorm, which is a stem cell injection clinical trial for ALS patients. At this point, I would be a candidate. My breathing is strong, which is a positive. It's a miracle that I'm getting these people to look at me. I'm very hopeful because there are great strides out there in the medical field. I've seen data that some people haven't improved, but some people have improved their life with stem cells and ALS greatly. The doctors, they can't tell you how you're going to progress. This disease is unknown. There's not enough funding for it in general. We need to get the word out across Canada. We need more researchers. We need people 
to look at this. Why, why are 30, you know, why are 30 old fucking men dropping wrenches over their hands and, and not being able to walk? Yeah. I'm going to have to move to LA for up to a year. It's six months of intense back and forth from the hospital, and then it'll be incremental uh, checkups, but almost too many to fly back and forth. I'm going to have to have my own place here. I'm going to have to have care there, and someone to take care of me and feed me and put up with all my dumb jokes. I'm not going to go flying with you and your wing bat plane, but since you're going out in the float plane, here's a paddle and here's a rope. What are we going to do with this? Well, we're on a plane, it, we're flying. What do you mean? It's got floats. When it splashes down in the lake, you can paddle a darn thing and there's a rope that you maybe you can throw at the land or somebody will pull you in. Tie it around your leg so that maybe when we find you, we can pull you back out again. Well, the thing is, chickens don't have arms, so I guess you can't use these anyways. What do you mean chickens don't have arms? You're a chicken! If, if chickens I found lots of uh, potential people. I pushed their buttons a bit just so, uh, you know, they're not going to come here and be like, this guy's a total whack job. I already told you about it, okay? I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I would sell my fucking house to go down there. So I gotta have somewhere to come back to. LA is, as everyone knows, is really expensive for rent and food. To be comfortable down there, who knows what it is, anywhere from 30 to 50 grand. Maybe more, 12 months. What do you mean, man? Like, my bucket list. I want to shoot RPGs. Going uh, synchronized swimming with midgets. <laughs> you know, what else is there? No, on a serious note, I want, I want to travel. And, and then that requires me to have someone to go with me. What I really need, too, is, is physiotherapy. I've been having a lot of issues with that. It's something that really really brightens my day and, and makes me move better. And um, I just can't get enough of that. Also, I'm hoping to get a mobility scooter. I think I got a good portion of that covered by insurance, but you know, knowing me and being out here, it'd be nice to have some off-road wheels, see if I can't kill myself before. The disease gets me. <laughs> I fall a lot and I was thinking I would like to live on one level. I just like to retrofit my house. This is, I have renters here, I have my brewery. It's my home and I'm happy here. So, And I'm infinitely grateful for all the people in this community. That's the fucking only reason I'm doing as good as I am today. How can I sit here and say woe is me and not fight when I know there's some poor fucker out there with ALS who doesn't have 10% of the support I knew? So what if my life's on fast forward? And it's been like that since day one. Some days are better than others, but you got to be strong. I got a beautiful little daughter. I have an amazing family. I'm not going to let my disease define who I am. I'm not depressed. I have ups and downs. I get emotional sometimes, and I'm happy to be here. This is where I am.
I let it flow like a river. But it's much too cold, so I shiver. I took a look to the skyline. What a face in the distance like a timeline.